Fake Toshi is at it again. This time, he's turned his eye on Bitcoin developers. All right, let's take a look at this tweet here from WooCoin or at DP 6 Here we go. Fake Toshi versus devs, December 7th and 8th. A quick pre-hearing recap. All right. Pay close attention. The claimant Tulip Trading Limited, TTL, is a company incorporated in the seashells. The claim relates to a very substantial amount of digital currency assets that TTL claims to own, but is currently unable to control or use. So keep in mind, they claim to own this Bitcoin, but they can't currently control or use it. Following what it says was a hack of computers located at Dr. Wright's home office in Surrey. In outline, TTL's case is that the defendants are the core developers and or otherwise control the software in respect of four relevant digital asset networks. The Bitcoin Satoshi Vision Network, or BSV. The first defendant, the Bitcoin Association. Two, the Bitcoin Core Network, the BTC Network. The second to 13th defendants, the BTC Developers. Three, the Bitcoin Cash Network, the BCH Network. The fourth defendant, the Bitcoin Cash ABC Network, the BCH ABC Network. The 15th and 16th defendants. TTL claimed that the defendants owe it fiduciary and or tortious duties, which have the effect that they should assist it in regaining control and use of its assets. So, so they don't, they don't know who's, they don't, they don't know who can help them. They have no clue, but they know that someone is responsible, a dev, a dev is responsible for helping them get access back to their supposedly their Bitcoin. Now, of course, the, the reason why they're doing this is because it's not their Bitcoin. So what they're trying to do is they are trying to force through the rule of law, they're trying to force somebody to do something, okay, that they shouldn't be allowed to do and essentially give possession of those coins to the Tulip Trading Limited, which is Craig Wright's, okay? So, but I got, anyways, you know what? Hold on, before, we're, we're gonna continue on with this because th this gets really weird. Remember that he claims that he was hacked and that's why he can't access these coins. Okay. This is a year old article. Australian man, Craig Wright, who says he created Bitcoin, which we know is not true, takes 4 billion claim to London High Court. Craig Wright is demanding that the developers allow him, allow him, okay? They're stopping him from, from retrieving, quote unquote, his own coin. You see the very, very specific language to make it seem as though he is being stopped. He is being prevented. Anyways, allow him to retrieve about 111,000 Bitcoins held at two digital addresses that he does not have the private keys for. Well, I think that's the end of that, right? You don't have the keys, so fuck him. It's, it's done. He does not have the coin. That's not stopping. That's not stopping crazy Craig, though. Wright alleges he lost, lost the encrypted keys when his computer network was hacked. There it is again in February 2020. Police are investigating. Okay, so it's a year old article. He was hacked. Now, here, here's actually uh, another article. So this is, this is now we're gonna fast forward to today. Okay, here's another article. This is actually, well, it's not today. It's September 14th, 2022 in terms of this article. So here we go. Craig Wright tells court he stomped on the hard drive containing Satoshi Wallet. What? That, that doesn't make sense. Wright alleged alleges he lost the encrypted keys when his home computer network was, was hacked. But in this case, in this case, he told the Norwegian court that, that he destroyed the hard drive, which, which held the keys. Craig Wright told the Norwegian court on Wednesday that he stomped on the hard drive that contained the key slices required to grant him access to Satoshi Nakamoto's private keys. Wright is no longer attempting to convince the court that he is Satoshi with cryptographic evidence, partly because he claims to have intentionally destroyed his only proof shortly after attempting suicide in May 2016. 
Destroying the hard drive, Wright told the court, was the only way to avoid being forced to prove his identity cryptographically, something he said he refused to do because it would give his critics the easy way out. Wright alleges he lost the encrypted keys. His home computer network was hacked in February. And we go back to the original piece, and this is December 8th. The claim relates to a very substantial amount of digital currency assets the TTL claims to own, but it's currently unable to control or use, following what it says was a hack. But you see, in Norway, in Norway, he told the court that he destroyed the hard drive. So this is, this is where it gets really interesting, people. Craig Wright just essentially, I mean, he just blatantly got busted, number one, for lying. OK, and number two, I, I think that people fail to appreciate when we when we pay attention to so much nuance, we forget about something. He's claimed to be Satoshi all of these years. So you're going to tell me the person that was intelligent enough to figure out all the different technologies to get Bitcoin to work somehow can't retrieve his own lost Bitcoin? supposedly, and he actually needs to go to the Bitcoin core devs to force them, to attempt to force them to move coins to his, to an address of his choosing. This is completely insane. I, I am so shocked that anybody even entertains this bullshit. It really, really makes no sense at all. The other, the other comical piece to this the other comical piece is, is is this, right? Supposedly he's the creator, right? He he's the creator of Bitcoin. Supposedly. And yet he keeps get and, and yet he keeps getting hacked, gets hacked, loses his keys. <laughs> I just I, I'm so sorry, but like I, I just find this all very difficult to believe. Um at this point, I don't see how anyone is listening to him. And I think that one of one of the pieces to this that that people aren't really paying attention to okay which is which is really interesting if you if you reread which i'm going to put it in the show notes but if you reread those notes uh from the court you'll see that he's actually he's actually also pursuing or seemingly pursuing bsv devs the devs for his own project so i just i, I don't even understand where that's going as the CSW self owns continue to mount up, we are going to continue to cover them. And look, don't be fooled. BSV is not actual Bitcoin. Only BTC is Bitcoin.